Hey y'all, Miss Brown here. Last assignment for the week before the very last week of school. How awesome is that? Okay, so just a little heads up once you see me on camera. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. Um, my voice and this, like my movement of my mouth and the voice or the sound isn't going to match up. It's going to be like a little laggy. It'll look like you're watching one of those movies that are better in a different language. And then you put on um, the subtitles or the the voiceover in English and it doesn't match up. So that's just a heads up. So you are going to go to this pick your podcast Flipgrid link. Let me start by showing you the assignment or the anchor chart. So this is what you're going to use. And somewhere on this slide, one, two, three, four, five, there are these five links, a rubric um, for the podcast, which I'll show you, um, my sample of the podcast, Calm Down with Miss Brown, and then a Google form to kind of help you organize your ideas. Mind you, um, the Google form is required. You have to fill that out. It's not a suggestion. And then some websites to help you out. So if you don't really want to search around for them, here they are. So you have the rubric, the Google form, 50 ideas for student podcasts, NPR, starting your own student podcast, a guide, and then some of the best podcasts for middle school. I also put a how to um, create your own podcast on Flipgrid. So right here, 50 ideas. So if you were kind of stuck on what you wanna do your podcast on, check these out, they will give you an idea. Here's a quick guide from NPR um, to help you kind of make your own podcast. So you can kind of scroll through here to help you out. And then the best podcast for middle schoolers. So I want you to listen to a few podcasts um, so you kind of get a feel for them, even if you have before. Um, and that is part of the rubric. You kind of have to respond about a couple of them. And then here is the creating your podcast using Flipgrid from my friend, the Merrills. Um, so it kind of walks you through exactly what I'm going to show you. So if you need to check back in on this after you can. So let's check out the rubric. So you have two options. You have your making your own podcast option or just listening and being kind of like a podcast critic. Technically, you have three options because I'm also allowing you to um, do a space journal like the journals we've been doing, the digital journals. But this one's about space. So you have three options. One of them must be done. So if you're making your own podcast, um, the point is that it's just your voice. So I don't want your picture on Flipgrid and I'll show you how to cover it up. Um, you need to have a logo. I'll show you how to do that. Between five and 10 minutes long, it's set at 10 minutes. So like if it cuts you off and you're still talking, that's not good. So kind of pre-plan. Um, you need some kind of a guest star, or guest appearance. It could be somebody in your house. It could be somebody you FaceTime or call and put them on speakerphone. Or you can do like I did, and I had my guest star send something on Marco Polo, so that way I was able to access it again later. Um, you want to stay away from Snapchat because you want to be able to save it. So have them send you an audio clip over text, or just have them send you a video on text, and then obviously you won't show the video, you'll just play their voice. So there's tons of different ways to get a guest star on your show. Um, duh, your podcast must be creative, interesting, and connect to science a teeny bit even if it's just a quick nod or a quick mention about how it connects to science, what aspect of science, is it astronomy, is it marine biology, is it neuroscience, like my podcast was, just kind of touch on it quick and make a quick connection. It does not have to be a science podcast. I want you to do a podcast about something you're interested in, something that you want to share. Um, then it needs to be research-based, so you need to reference some article. If you're doing skateboarding, if you're doing cooking, just reference an article or a website um, that people can gather more information. Um, and then you need to listen to two other podcasts and provide feedback on your Google form. So I don't want you talking about these podcasts in your podcast. I want you to just give me quick little just statements about them in your Google form. Can't create a podcast. No worries. So you don't have a quiet space. Um, it's not something that you really want to kind of tackle. Then you can be a podcast critic. And you can either talk about your podcast on Flipgrid or I'll create a Padlet. And same thing, if you do Flipgrid, you can do the same thing I'm doing with my podcast logo, but you can create like a podcast critic logo and cover up your face so it can just be your audio. Or if you want to do a Flipgrid video with your face and talk about the podcast, you can do that as well. So um, you're going to listen to one podcast, take notes, listen to a second podcast, take notes. I would love it for you to upload your notes or put them on Padlet or show me or at the very least discuss them in your review. Then you need to tell somebody something you learned. So when you listen to your two podcasts, talk to a friend, call somebody, tell somebody in your house. Share that knowledge. That's the best part of learning is sharing it with other people. 
Um, so tell me about the podcast. Did you think they were creative? Did you think they were interesting and why? You need to explain this and discuss it on your Google form. Same thing, you're going to need to tell me who you talk to on the Google form. Um, connection to science, talk about how it relates to science. What did it relate to something we did this year, something we didn't? And then same thing, you need to look up a, a reference um, article or you need to look up a website that connects to one of the podcasts you listen to. Um, they might even give you some resources in the podcast. And then above all 40 points, you need to post your response in Flipgrid or post your response on a Padlet. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to have two different Google Forms. Um, so I will go and I will edit this and I will have two spots for the Google form based off of whether you did the podcast or listened to the podcast. Okay, sweet. So here is how you're going to do your logo. So you are going to go to a Google slide or anything really. I mean, you can do a screenshot, but I kind of want you to like put your name on it. Or if you're being a critic of a podcast, think of a cool name. So let's say you're doing something about baking. I just searched baking. Oh my gosh, this is making me so hungry. Okay, so I like this picture. So I'm going to screen snip it. I sent you directions in the last journal how to do that. So there we go. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to insert. Actually, I'm gonna make it my whole background. So I'm gonna go to background, choose image. Browse, desktop, and here it is. And then it will stretch it out to the whole background, which is perfect. Done. If you don't like that, instead, I'm going to control Z and I'm going to go to my background. I'm going to change my color to something like that because it looks like that cake kind of. And then I'm going to go to insert image from my computer because I did a screenshot. So it's on my desktop and then I can do that. I can edit it more like I want that little white piece gone. I want this little white piece on the bottom gone. There we go. Okay, and then now I can move it to the center of the slide. I think this actually works better than doing it as the background because the background will be too big. So let's do this instead. Um, I would love to outline it in like a brown, make it like eight, perfect. And then now I want to add some words. So I'm gonna go to insert text box, do it like right here. Let's say I want the background to be like this yellowy color. I'm going to do a brown kind of border. And I'm going to say baking with brown. And that will be the name of my podcast. Let's make it nice and big. And you can even do baking with dot, dot, dot. Let's do this. Perfect. Then move it over. Baking with. I'm actually just going to copy this so that way I don't have to redo the background and everything. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to center this. Just double check, center this. Perfect. And I want that bold. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. Awesome. So now I'm going to change the color, let's say, to like a yellow. Not the color of that, the color of the words. Make it like a dark brown. Bold. Stretch back out. Good. And then same. And my color that I used before usually is right there, but it's gone. I can't even remember what color I used, y'all. That one. Okay, bold. Good. It's a little bit different. I like the darker one better, actually. So let's go here and see what color it was. It's this bottom second in. So now I'm going to go here. Bottom second in, that's why. Perfect. So there we go. Now you're going to go to file and whatever slide you're on, you're going to save as a JPEG and it will save it to your desktop. See, pops it right down here. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Flipgrid. So let's go to record a response. Y'all should just be able to hit down here on record. Don't forget, check out my podcast sample that I did. It's about six minutes. And this will give you kind of an idea about what I'm looking for. So please, please, please watch it. I want to see hundreds of views. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Y'all, it's hot out here. It's humid. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so here's what I want you to do. Before you get started, you're going to get your 
podcast screen set up. Because remember, I don't want your gorgeous faces. So you're going to go right down here to the bottom right where it says photo sticker. And I'm going to upload, click it, the picture I just did. So I just did um, a JPEG. It's in my downloads. So if I go to downloads, it should be right here. Bing, bang, boom. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is you are going to stretch it out over the entire screen. So I'm going to kind of talk to you as if it's like a podcast. So this is what your viewers would see. So I would go and I would hit record right here whenever I'm ready. I suggest having music kind of to start, having kind of a script so that way you know exactly what you're going to say. Not necessarily word for word. Um, I just had like a list of one, two, three, four, five things I was going to say. So let's say I want to have some music. So baking with Miss Brown. Get my Spotify playlist out, y'all. I'm going to search cooking music, which is awesome. So cooking music. Hmm. No, I, I want something that's not inappropriate. Okay. Lost in Japan with Sean Mendes. So I'm going to let my music kind of start for a minute. Am I recording? Okay, here we go. And let's say I'm going to like let the music die out a little. And then I'm going to start talking. Don't forget, you can always pause. So notice how I paused it. And then if I need to get something else ready, I need to get my guest star over. I need to get my phone out and go to my Marco Polo or my text messages or FaceTime my guest star. I can always pause it. So that way you don't hear all that shuffle. So now my guest star is on. Me and my guest star are chatting it up, blah, blah, blah. Notice how my timer, you want to keep it between five and 10 minutes. So I was very generous with that kind of window. And then my guest appearance done. So I'm going to stop. Um, and then now I'm going to talk about my resource. I'm going to start again. And let's say the dog starts barking or like in mine, the neighbor starts mowing the lawn. So I pause it quick. And then I'm going to restart and I'm going to go back and delete that clip. So now I'm going to start again. The dog's gone. The door's closed. The neighbor's done mowing their lawn. Um, and then I'm going to wrap up my podcast. So now we we'll put the music back on. Maybe same song, maybe a different song. I'm going to say this podcast, this podcast is brought to you by whoever it's brought to you. Thank you to my guest star. Miss Brown, I love you so much. You're the best teacher ever. Whatever you want to say. And then kind of. Soften up the music, and then you would end it. Now I'm going to go to next. Here is where I can review all my clips. And let's send it away with a hit pause. I'm going to let it load. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this part right here once it's done loading. And it lets me go to each clip. And if I want to delete this clip, this one's good, so I'm going to hit confirm. I'm going to go back here. I want to delete that one, so I'm going to hit delete. You can kind of mess around with each of them. So now I'm going to confirm, and I'm going to hit next. Ooh, now I'm not going to do my selfie. I'm going to do the same exact screen that I did before. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to come up. Sorry about that. So I'm going to click that. Perfect. Now this is kind of the funky part. It's hard to like stretch it out perfect, so you just try your best to make it kind of big, big, and then try to kind of make it fit the best you can. It's not gonna be perfect. See how the top's up, so let me go up a little. It's actually really good, perfect. So then I'm gonna snap my selfie, and I'm gonna hit next. Now, what I would love for you to do instead of your name, I would love for you to put your podcast name. So I'm gonna put baking, with brown and then the title you can put your name and i would love it if here if you had some sort of a resource let's say this is a resource about recipes um or how it relates how baking relates to science i can attach that resource then hit submit remember that i hide the videos until i can watch them so you cannot see your video pop right up if you hit submit and it said it went it is perfectly fine do not worry at all okay so I'm not going to hit submit because I'm actually going to upload my screencast if I'm going to submit that. So let me triple check. I'm going to X out. 
so y'all can see me again. Let me go to record response so I can get you to see me. Oh my goodness, Miss Brown. My fingers aren't working. Okay, where are you? I wanna see your faces. There you are. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. I mean, I'm checking. I talked about how to do your logo, talked about how to cover up your screen. Um, I went through the rubric. I went through the Google form you need to fill out, um, all the different links that you can click on on my little Bitmoji classroom with my picture frame. Um, and then you just upload it. Don't forget, if you're not doing a podcast, you need to critique a podcast. Same way, you can cover it up, create a logo, or critique the podcast like it's your own show. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with either of those, you can do a Padlet. And I will put that Padlet link somewhere on that um, original PowerPoint, even if I have to make a new slide and add the Google form for people that aren't creating a podcast and the Padlet link. So I'll put both of those on there as well. Um, and then your third option is do the journal about space, which is really good. And there's not like really a weekly quiz. It's just a little quick check. But I want your podcast. Do this instead, please. Please, 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 please. Okay, love you all so much. You fill my buckets each and every day. I'm this. I can't wait to listen to them. Bye, guys. Love you all. Remember, we are Broncos. We are HMS. Hashtag proud to be a Bronco. Bye.